Hello everyone and welcome you all to Quick Solutions for All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020. Today I am going to take up the zoology part of the paper which is test paper number 8 code A and B in zoology. So let's get started with the very first question, question number 136. Select the phylum to which asymmetrical animals generally belongs and the options given are Nidarians, Porifera, Tenophores, Arthropods. Members of phylum Porifera are commonly called sponges and are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals. Whereas animals belonging to the phylum Nidaria, that is Nidarians and Tenophores, they exhibit radial symmetry. Whereas arthropods exhibit bilateral symmetry. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Question 137. Among the following, which organism is an acelomate and hermaphrodite? That means they lack a true coelom and are hermaphrodite. The options given are Herudinaria, Vucararia, Tinea and Lecifer. Among the given options, Tinea belongs to the phylum Platyhelminthes and it is an acelomate and a hermaphrodite. So, this is a correct answer. On the other hand, Vucararia belongs to the phylum Eschihelminthes and possesses pseudocelome. Whereas, Herodinaria is a coelomate and a hermaphrodite whereas the last option that is lecifer is an arthropod it is a coelomate and it is dioecious it is not a hermaphrodite so the correct answer to this question is option number three let's move on to the next question Question number 138. An undifferentiated layer, mesoglia, can be found in. The options given are meandrina, cycon, fasciola, limulus. And the correct answer to this question is option number 1, meandrina. Meandrina is a diploblastic. It comprises actoderm and endoderm. In body wall and in between this there is an undifferentiated layer mesoglia is present. Sycon is a porifer it possesses cellular level of organization. Fasciola is a platyhelminthes whereas limulus is a triploblastic arthropod. So the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 139. Choose the incorrect statement with respect to kingdom animalia. The very first statement says all members are multicellular. And as it is a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question. The next statement says all members exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells. And as it is an incorrect statement, this is a correct answer to our question. Though all members of animalia are multicellular, different animals exhibit different patterns of organization of cells. Example, cellular layer of organization, tissue level of organization, organ level of organization, organ system level of organization. Such as organ level of organization is exhibited by platyhelminthes. In phylums like annelida, arthropoda, mollusca, etc., they exhibit organ system level of organization. The third statement says in higher phyla, Tissues are grouped together to form organs and as it is a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question because level of organization starts with the primitive cellular level of organization followed by tissue level of organization, then organ level of organization, then organ system level of organization. 
The last statement says bilaterally symmetrical animals have dorsal and ventral sides as well as anterior and posterior ends is also a correct statement. So, cannot be a correct answer to our question. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 140. In which of the following animal the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs? And this is what the animals which will exhibit segmentation. Or metamerism. The first phylum to exhibit this segmentation, true segmentation, final phylum annelida. And among the given options, option number two, earthworm, belong to the phylum annelida. So the correct answer to this question is option number two, earthworm exhibit both external as well as internal segmentation with a serial repetition of at least some organs. Option number one, tapeworm is a platyhelminthus. It is a pseudo segmented worm. Tapeworm is a pseudo segmented organism. The third and fourth option that is roundworm and hookworm are incorrect options because these are Eschihelminthus and they are non-segmented. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Mm -hmm.